welcome back to more Ayane's chapter challenges in Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. I'm not looking forward to this current level chapter here because of the frickin' um... Because of Mr. Wild Blue Yonder guy. I... I really hate... Just absolutely hate that boss. And yeah, he's optional and everything, but... Oh. I really do try to do all the optional stuff with the characters, and... Mm. Also, this chapter starts with this scene here, which lags. Uh, I, re I am really curious about the Master Collection on Switch, if some of this stuff lags like this. Because, well, I, from what I've seen, I don't think it lags on other consoles as nearly as bad on, like, the PS3 or 360, even though I think those are technically weaker machines, but I do know that the Wii U has a bottleneck in its graphics pipeline, at least from my li very admittedly limited understanding of tech shit. And I... And I don't think the uh, Switch has that same bottleneck in its graphics pipeline, so... You know. And the, the Switch, as far as I know, is essentially more powerful than the Wii U. better specs all around, so... It should theoretically work better. I would hope so, essentially. I was trying to do this. Boom. Anyways, may maybe Ayane will be. Captain Flying Dude in, like, one go, just like Kasumi did. Of course, I, I still have no idea how Kasumi did that. I, that was more of, like, a fluke, I think. I did... Like, I did not expect Kasumi to do that well. And I'm not expecting Ayane to do that well, so... Hmm. I was expecting Momiji to do well, and then she didn't. So... Uh... Hmm. Maybe that's the, uh... Maybe that's the thing, like... The characters I think will do well are the ones that don't, and the characters I have, like, no expectations of doing well are... Ah! Oh, shit. Ow. Ah. 
I said to. Mm. Oh, what the? I really hate when he can pull that out of, like, nowhere with, like, literally no warning. It's just. It's just. You're being grabbed now because. Why, 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 why? Master Collection loads any better than the base games. Hmm. I would actually almost assume it would. How did I not get the other guy? You know, the Bloody Rage thing is one mechanic in this game that I don't 100% understand. Like, I know it comes from killing a lot of guys, but I don't know if, like, your hit count has it plays any role in it. I almost think the hit count does play a role in it because it seems like Ayane gets it more than anyone else and she and like a lar large hit combos is kind of her thing. Might also explain why she tends to have higher scores than other characters. Because this game's scoring system seems to be more heavily weighted towards people that do large combos. Uh, at least, like, at least the Devil May Cry games and even Bayonetta to an extent have combo systems with, like, a stale moves type thing in it where. If you just keep doing the same moves over and over again, the game will negatively reward you for it, but Ninja Gaiden is kinda like, ah, just keep like just keep doing the same combo over and over again, you'll you'll get your points. Then again, I think the way Ninja Gaiden discourages doing the same combos over and over again is that the enemies are a, can be much more unpredictable and can change up their tactics more on the fly, forcing you to think more on the fly. So rather than incorporating it into its scoring system, they incorporate it in more into the AI and how they function and how they react to things. Or at least I think that's supposed to be the idea. How well they actually execute on that is... I think, up for discussion. Then again, there's some. 
there are some things that you can do in the Devil May Cry games where you can like just kind of do the same moves over and over again and still get a decent score. Because there are some moves that just always seem to give you a decent style ranking, regardless of how much you use them. Uh, triple Judgment Cut in Devil May Cry 3 as Virgil comes to mind. That move just always seems to give you high style points for some reason. It's like the style points are sometimes just weighed more heavily towards certain moves. That move is great in tight spaces. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Doop doo. No, you're mine. Of course, getting S ranks is also nice towards, you know. I always wonder if there's, like, another way that I can fool the game like how Kasumi does with her windmill shark. Get off! Like, I don't even understand what's happening on the game side of things that causes that to even be a thing. Okay, well, we managed to sort of do it with Ayane here. I think that was just because I grouped a whole bunch of them together, and... It might literally be that I'm just killing more at one time than the game anticipated would be possible. That literally might just be what's happening. Almost like the game's like, STOP IT! We're not supposed to take them all out that fast. They can't. We can't activate the transformation sequence. Stop. Well, he was gonna blow up anyways. Ooh. You thought you'd got the drop on me, but it was... Ah, well... Okay, that one was correct, but... And... You're done, and you're done, and you're done. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the game's like, you're not allowed to move on yet because, um... Uh... Is there anyone else? You guys didn't even exist a second ago.
It's like, where did you come from? Fill it up with the acid. And then climb the wheel. What if I said I don't want to? These guys. Hmm. Like, really? That's just a blood splitter. Chunk, 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 chunk. I really do think that that was an attempt to, like, translate the, uh... the wall climbing maneuver from the 2D games into 3D. What the? Why do I slip off the wall? I don't understand that. It's like, I just, I start doing the wall run and then I just fall for no reason. I, am I pressing? I still don't get what's happening there. Am I pressing the button, like, again without realizing it because I don't think that's what I'm doing am I just jumping too early or is the game just fucking up like I could believe any of those answers <laughs> like I could I could easily believe that it's my own fuck up but I could also easily believe that the game is just not working the way it's supposed to. <sighs> like, both of those would be easy for me to believe. <laughs> button in midair when trying to do the flying swallow technique. Because, like, subconsciously I'm trying to do the multiple one. Unlike Ryu's arrows, her kunai take a few seconds before they explode. Get off! What the? Ow. 
Uhu. I, what the? How the? Why the? Oh. And down you go. Ooh. You seem to have been glitching out, mister. Ow! It's like, excuse you! doing his stupid little I land on the ground maneuver. <sighs> Fuck off. I really fucking hate this guy. I think he is the cheapest, most bullshit boss in the whole game. And his fucking lag does not help. can't move. What the fuck? Um I I literally cannot move. Like you I'm pressing all of the buttons. Nothing is happening. The game is the the game does not know what to do right now. I you hear this? I what is okay? Well, I'm gonna end the recording up to this point now, and I'm gonna come back to this. Like, I'm gonna have to play back up to this part off screen, but. I can't do anything. Literally, the game's stuck. Okay, ah, uh, this took me way longer to get back to than I initially thought. So, yeah, after Wild Blue Yonder Man just infinitely was ramming against a thing while I was completely locked out of being able to play the game, 
Uh, I had initially intended to get back to that the next day, and then the next day turned into the next week, and then I had a whole thing where I didn't have a computer, and during that time I was also sick, so even if I did have a computer, I wouldn't have felt like playing. And then I got behind on editing videos, and I can't really record while editing. Well, I mean, I can... I, I, I got a new computer in the intermediate time, so I might have been able to, but uh, I don't know. I haven't tried it. So yeah, I, I got I got behind on video editing and other content. And then and then I just kinda got behind on my sleep and just did not feel like playing this game while I was tired as all fuck. And then one thing led to another, and then I started making excuses to not play it, and I also had other things to do for the show, and it just kind of got away from me. But now... But now that we're in August... And we're going to be starting up with, uh, well, we've already started up with Halloween recordings. I really should pull out the stops for any and all solo content in case certain series have to go on hiatus. Also, I've been kind of putting this off because I just really, really fucking hate this particular <clears throat> test of ballot. Get the fuck off of me. Something went flying. But yeah, I just really, really in particular hate this, this test of valor. More so for the more so because of the boss here than any other reason. Oh, that was, like, worthless. I'm not a fan of some of the regular mobs that spawn here, either. And I don't think I've ever really been all that good with Ayane. I don't want to use my Nimpo right now. I want to actually save that for the boss. I'm surprised that you were just lying there doing nothing like that whole time. You're just sitting there chilling, watching. Should I use it or should I not? Uh, I think I'll go with not using it. That might be a mistake, but... Uh, 
Uh, ah, fuck off. That's definitely a good one of it's definitely a good nimpo for this. If only I could use it more than once. I hate getting stun locked. I also hate how the camera has like a hard time keeping up with what's going on. Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. I hate that. Ow. I don't know how I dodged. Ah, oh, fuck off! Ah, crap! Damn you! On your fucking minions. Uh. Oh boy. Oh no! Go the other. I pressed the other. I wanted to take advantage of the dude popping out of the ground. <laughs> Since that... Ow! Oh, fuck off with this shit!
only go after him if he's close by or he does the damn spit. I fuck off. I hmm. This is so poorly done. I was trying to do the damn. Oh, fucking hell. What? what where did that shadow go? Stop! Fuck off! All of you! It's about fucking time! Good lord! Oh my gosh! Well, that only took 40 fucking minutes. Hey, get off! Asshole! Get off! Oh my god! Are you serious? Down you go! <sighs> okay. My brain still needs to recover from... Damn, Test of Valor. Ah, stupid zombie things. And I don't like how you can grab me from a distance. You can fuck on off with that shit. I wanted the snake lady! Bloody rage. Some feel the power, others feel the pain. Bloody rage. Yes, I'm doing a Chocolate Rain meme in current year. Kill me. No, that you! Mm, yeah, nasty. And you are done. Did I just... Bounce off its head like it was a Mario enemy. Okay, I'm usually pretty lazy with the editing on these extra character bits, 
But Future Me, I need to see a replay of that in slow motion. Okay. Anywho. Uh, I also need to finish up the frickin'. Oh. Chap. Not chapter challenge. This is the chapter challenge. I need to finish up the, uh, whatchamacallum. Shadows of the World shit. Ninja Trop. Ow! You piece of schmitty bitty. Oh, yeah. Between. Between the last time I recorded this stage and this recording, I got the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection for Switch, which I didn't know was going to be just installing three separate games to my system. I thought it was going to be like, you know, how collections usually work, where they're all in like a single launcher or whatever. And then you launch that, and then from there you launch the collection. I mean, the individual games. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk right. Um, I tried I tried out this game in there, and you know it, it doesn't lag as much. And it's interesting to be able to open the shop whenever, um, because in case you don't know. This only applies to the Wii U version, and I don't know why, but this little upgrade shop in the Wii U version can only be opened when there's no when there's no enemies in the area. In any other version of this game specifically, that is not the case. Which is also the reason why when fighting that one guy whose name I cannot fucking remember for the life of me, all I know is, like I've said before, he looks like Castlevania's Pazuzu, but Pazuzu in the Ninja Gaiden series is that giant dinosaur bird thing that you fight in the, in the underground crypt. <clears throat> I uh, expected them to go for the grab. Usually these invisible enemies are a bit grab happy. Hab grappy. No, let's not, shall we? Oh, where did you piece of... Mmm, I don't even have an insult for you. You're just... You're that much of a nothing to me that I can't even insult you properly. Oh. You, on the other hand, you can go die in the hardiest, hardiest, most horriblestiest fire that ever fired a fire. I think that got him. Oh, what are you laughing at, asswipe? Um. That was sure as hell of the- You need to stoop! This will be your brain. Uh, and also yours! 
Get the flunk off of me! Kick. Thankfully, none of these guys show up in that one test of valor. It's also one of the reasons I was contemplating on saving my final uh, health upgrade, because while the final test of valor's boss is more fair, the journey getting up to him is not. So, I want to have the ability to upgrade my health still there so that when I get to that point I can use it as a free health refill oh man I could have had some steel and bone there. Crud. That's what I get for trying to be pre-active instead of reactive. The game, this game obviously wants you to be the other. set of hands so we can get on with it. Ah, the human hands. Good. I was afraid it was going to be the damn sna Oh, no. And then the snake hands are going to come next, aren't they? That's the ones I kind of hate the most because just the long-range grab. Ow. Uh, back to the root. Oh, fuck off. It took that long for him for her to do that. It's a shame the pretty evil scientist lady never did get a nice pair of glasses. Uh, are we just going snakeless today? Okay. Sure. I I can roll with that. No snake. Okay. <sighs> oh no, that feels like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders, but I still need to beat the damn shadows of the, the ninja trials. I keep fucking forgetting what that's called. I still need to do that. So I can continue on with the first two characters that started this whole chapter challenge journey. Oh boy. Well, see you everybody.